Hi there and welcome back to my channel. This is Sean, the Honest Book Reviewer, with another book review. In this video we're discussing The Mystery Guest, written by Nita Prose. It's the same author who wrote The Maid, one of my favourite books from 2022. And this book is just as good. I loved it. And it's the second book to feature Molly the Maid, set in the same hotel as book one, has some of the same characters as book one, has a different feel to it though, it's more of a cosy mystery feel than book one. But I adored this book. I liked everything about it. The setting, the scenes, the characters, the mystery. The whole construct of this book is just amazing. Molly the Maid is one of my favourite characters of recent times. She's a brilliant character, stands out so much, sticks in my mind as well. So this book overall is brilliant. This book is set three or four years in the future from the end of book one. That allows Molly the Maid and other characters to develop off narrative, which is great. And Molly does. So for example, she's head maid now, she wasn't in book one. She's training people now, so she wasn't doing that in book one. She seems so much more confident and sure of herself now, so much more than in book one. So great changes for that character, great growth. And having that set a few years in the future, allows for all that growth to happen off narrative. So it still feels very organic and real because I have that time gap. So I enjoy that in the book, the, the way that's done. Everything's running smoothly, it seems, at the hotel. It's going to be a big event. A mystery author, a very well-known mystery author, is going to make an announcement at an event. At this event, we'll have press and we'll have select guests. Molly is in charge of certain things at this event, but at the event, as the author steps up on the podium, before he can say one word, he drops down dead on the floor in front of all the press, in front of all the guests, in front of staff, they all witness it. So it's like a classic murder mystery where you have somebody dying with all these people in the room and they all could be suspects. That's how it plays out in this book. When the police arrive, we have the return of Detective Stark. Detective Stark in book one thought Molly was a murderer. Will Molly be a suspect in this book? You have to read it to find out. But Detective Stark is suspicious of Molly and other people on staff, including Lily, a new maid, and Lily is the maid Molly's training. And Millie is not very confident, not sure of herself. She feels like Molly did in book one. It's interesting to see how that plays out in this story, how Molly protects Lily, and how Lily interacts with other characters in the story, and how Detective Stark now views Lily and Molly in the book. It's interesting that whole interaction with those three characters becomes a big thing in this story, I think. This book is structured with past and present narrative chapters, and it switches between the two many times in this story. And I like that in this book. Sometimes I don't, but in this book it was okay. In the past chapters, we have Molly as a young girl, I think she's about 10 or so in that past narrative. We have her grandmother. And the, one of the reasons I love those past chapters so much is because of her grandmother, that character. It's brilliant in those chapters. We get to see so much about how Molly views the world as a child, as she's learning about things, and how strong her grandmother is. I just love that resilience and strength from Molly's grandmother in those chapters. How her grandmother views the world, how she views other people, how she interacts with people, how she helps Molly and teaches Molly, how she kind of moulds Molly into the person she is today. That all plays out in those chapters. They're brilliant in my view. They're important as well because they include important people from the present day as well, including the victim. So we get to see the victim from the past as well, and from Molly's point of view in the past when she was a young girl. Very interesting because it's important to see that, to understand the victim in the present day, and also other characters in the present day as well, that pop in and out of that present day narrative. So the book in general, I love the mystery. It feels like classic Agatha Christie. We have a murder, we have many suspects, and we have that all play out in a very tight setting. I love that about this mystery. Very well constructed, very well controlled, everything feels organic and real, it plays out so well in the whole plot. The setting, I love the hotel setting, and in this book we get to see different parts of the hotel than we did in book one. And I like that about this book, because it opens up just different areas of this setting. It's very tightly done as well, so we have different areas described in the setting and the movement, the plot, doesn't move from those areas very often. So 
it's very well done in that respect to have a small footprint and have it play out so well with such a big cast of characters. I like all the characters in this book, even annoying characters like Cheryl. They're all described very well. They all feel very real. All their motives, all their actions, all the interactions feel true to who they are. So they're very consistent as characters. And Molly, of course, one of my favorite characters of recent times. Love that character. And I do wish for many more books with Molly the Maid. I have to mention Molly again in this video. I mentioned Molly in the video for the maid, but she's a great character. One of my favorite characters in fiction, in modern fiction anyway. I think she's just brilliant. So well constructed, so well developed, given more growth in this book as well. Everything about her feels real. I just love the way her mind works. I love the way how she sees everything in the world. And it's so consistent. And I think Molly is a character where the author could just misbalance that a bit, but it's not. The balance is perfect, I think, for the character. And I think the author's done a fantastic job with this character, and it's a character that I remember for many months after reading this book. We get to see a lot of Gran in this book because of the past narrative chapters, and I love her as a character. I love her strength, her resilience, I love the way she sees the world, interacts with people. I love the way she's guiding Molly as well in her childhood. Those interactions between young Molly and Gran are just priceless, I think. They're just written so well. It shows Gran in a just a brilliant light, I think. She's a wonderful character. I think she's one of the best characters in support roles in modern fiction as well. Because she's just written, I think she feels very unique. Even though there are books with elderly characters who are written to be kind of guiding characters, you know, teaching people and guiding people through life, basically. But Gran just seems to be in like a class of her own in that kind of role. I love her in this book. Angela stands out in this book because of her true crime addiction. I also love true crime. True crime documentaries, true crime books, true crime movies, true crime podcasts. I'll just consume true crime whenever I can. And Angela is that way in this book. She's also the driver for Molly to be involved in the investigation. Without that character pushing Molly, Molly wouldn't be involved. So I like that as well. I like the fact that it's Angela pushing Molly into the spotlight for the investigation. It just feels a bit more organic in that way because it suits Molly's character to be forced into that situation and not to go there herself. So Angela is an important character, I think, in the book because she has to be the impetus for Molly to investigate. So a great character, very well written, and I hope Angela sticks around for more books if we have more books in this series. I love this book. I can't say enough about it. I rate it a 5 out of 5. The characters, the mystery, the plot, even the past and present split narrative I loved. The setting, everything about this book is just brilliant. I'm hoping for many more books with these characters and in this series. I don't know if you're going to have the hotel setting all the time in this series. Maybe Molly needs to branch out sometimes in this series if it progresses. But I'm just hoping for more books with Molly. Even though she may not be a maid in future books, I'm hoping she's easy in future books. On my channel, I review many mysteries. If you enjoy mysteries, check out my channel and subscribe. On the screen now is a link to a video for a book I'm sure you'll enjoy.